a landscape light like that has failed. And it, the problem occurred at the fixture closest to the house from there. And this is the post that was in the ground. And here are the two cables. And you can see that the cable on the left has two wires that are burned off. The hot and the bare wire were rubbing against each other and they fried each other off until it tripped the breaker. I'll splice them with underground splices and repair it and put the post back on. I've shortened up the cables to get rid of the damage on the one cable and shorten the other cable to make it the same length for ease of splicing. If you notice that the bare conductor is badly corroded, uh, that happens in areas of great moisture and uh, here around tree roots there may be some fertilizer as well. I'll clean that up with a wire stripper before I splice them. Okay, the wires have now been spliced with silicone filled wire nuts that are approved for direct burial. And I will now reinsert the cable back into the uh, ground in the post that was made for mounting this floodlight. This is a close up of the wires that were in the post underground. They were spliced together. The tree roots pushed down and caused this cable to fail. And the bare wire pressed against the hot conductor and shorted out and burned itself off. 